What is up, you awesome kisters and assist reactor guys? Today we're reacting to Game Theory, Don't Let Them Out, Roblox Doors. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the Game Theory, and comment down below. Let's get into this. Bump. Oh no. Oh, oh, I need to get back in the cardio. Whew. <laughs> Don't hey, jump scare me, bro. 100, let's go. <gasps> oh gosh. Who are you? My name is Jeff. You're friendly? Oh, good. I, I have been lost in here for My so long. My name is long. Jeff. It's is so crazy. A friendly face. How long uh, since? I suppose. How long has oh, it been since that meme was relevant? You just want money? Look, man. Tips? I, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I am regretting all my past decisions. No, if no! Matt Pat can't break bread, he is fake. Hello, That's what that monster said. Welcome to Game Theory, where today there's even more lore indoors. Gotta love those triple rhymes. Lore today indoors. we're revisiting the world of Roblox Doors, the game that totally pulled a Scott Cawthon on us by releasing their new Hotel Plus update a few hours after our last theory on them went live. Gotta <laughs> love getting trolled by indie devs and validating our Hitting theories the mere lore minutes indoors. after upload. Though in this case, I'll what actually lore let it could be slide since in the this GTA game. Live couch is a painting that you find inside the game. It's awesome. It's also oh, wow. something we were made aware of many 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 times oh that's neat the game subreddit. I even see up, that. if you too want to join in making me aware of very obvious easter eggs hop on over there and help me push this community to 800k you guys are the best seriously i'm, I'm giving you a hard time but it's fun i'm glad that you're all excited <laughs> about it i'm just as excited this is what you youtube's are. all and about you joke and say you're nice to your viewers theories, that's actually not true in the slightest you see with this new update came even more hidden secrets and bits of lord oh, god some of it was small stuff like piles of rotting flesh spread around door 100 where we encounter the figure providing piles of rotting the creature what is probably a homunculus made from flesh and bone like we talked about in our previous episode but then there were some bigger additions more monsters more dialogue and literally hell was that? thousand more rooms to explore as we try to make our way out of this haunted hotel so unpack those bags dudes we're checking in for another night stay of roblox door lore let's start with one of the new areas added to like i was using his own gameplay once you escape the figure lurking around the library in door 50 you're greeted by a safe haven filled with three new faces Oh yeah, I've seen this, but I can't get past uh First off is Jack, can't get past this area. shop owner with his trash at this. trying to raise money for college. Fill up the jar and suddenly he has enough. Kind of makes you wonder how much these gold coins are actually worth. Some tells me that'll wind up as a YouTube short in a week or two. The other wow. entities that we see are Bob, a skeleton that doesn't say a whole lot, and this guy Nothing right here, happens. a little red goblin named creatively enough El Goblino. This guy El tells Goblino. us a lot. Literally, he has a ton of dialogue. The first thing to notice is his constant use of the word dude, which isn't a translation error. Dude? Instead, it's a reference to the streamer XQC, who not only says dude a lot, but is also known to occasionally go goblin mode during his streams. Seriously? The creator of El Goblino has already confirmed all of this on Twitter. But that's not Parody everything creature that's interesting about this guy. You see, El Goblino is Spanish for the goblin. Whoa, I'm really blowing this my room is way too clean to be XQCs. A lot of different Spanish words. Hombre, like Easter egg to be in. Amor, which stood out to me as an important detail because, well, why would a Spanish goblin of all things be appearing inside of this haunted hotel? So I did some digging and I found some surprising connections. Man, Spanish, the old El memes Goblino coming back from this game theory is crazy. The goblin meme? Term for goblin is duende. While the word literally translates to elf, it's also used to describe creatures from folklore that are similar to dwarves, gnomes, and yes, goblins. Now, the stories of Duende vary a lot in different parts of the Spanish I'm learning world, a lot based on the just by one gnome the hotel, on the screen or from goblin? America, I decided to take a look at the folk tales from our Spanish-speaking neighbor to the south, Mexico. And get this, in Mexican folklore, Duende are gnome-like creatures that live inside the walls of homes, which is a perfect match for our friend Goblino. If you speak to him enough times, he'll give you this line. Quote, sometimes I like to knock on the walls, scare the knock off the humans. Floor. So I mean, funny, knock on the dude, wall. Which is referencing the scratching and knocking ambient sounds that we hear throughout our playthrough. It's El Goblino Are you serious? in the walls purposely trying to scare us, just like the Duende of folklore. It might also explain the total destruction that we see throughout the hotel. Take a look at the claw marks that we see Jeez. on the walls. It's very clearly three claws with no thumbs. That can't be Rush, Eyes, Ambush, or any of the other creatures. Bro, really took no so Prank you to a whole nother level, man. Said, look at El Goblino's design. No, nah, man, said douche, douche, douche on the wall. With zero thumbs. And wouldn't you know it, but that's another trait that we see of the Duende in folklore. And all of this information helps us to start piecing together how Goblino wound up.
up in the hotel. You see, the most common origin of the duende in Mexican folklore was when a child died before they were baptized, becoming these morally ambiguous beings what that caused mischief. Believe it or not, this is actually one of the reasons why baptizing infants is such common practice nowadays in Catholicism. Anyway, in our previous theory, we talked huh. about how this new room full of beds, the infirmary, likely means that the Doors Hotel was converted into a hospital during World War II. During the war, the country needed more places to care for wounded soldiers, and so vacant hotels became easy makeshift hospitals. But soldiers weren't the only ones being treated inside there. During the 1940s, there was a huge boom in immigration at the American government's request. With the war effort in full swing, many farmers were getting enlisted into the military, thereby leaving the U.S. struggling with major agricultural labor shortages. As a result, the government introduced the Bracero Program, an effort to immigrate Mexicans Bro, to the U.S. Bro, there is so much I, but this also I, meant that I'm men, learning women, right now. Their children were moved to the U.S. and thereby put into harm's way. And that, I suspect, is the sad origin of El Goblino. He's a child who died during this wartime effort. He immigrated to the U.S., was injured, treated in a makeshift hotel hospital, but ultimately passed on before being baptized, thereby leaving him to live on roaming the walls. His story may Jesus. also give us a hint as to the hotel's location. Imagine, a like... Number of Mexican Americans in states like California, Imagine Arizona, the creator watching this and it even that deep. Border. But duendes weren't just mischief makers. They were also known to guide the lost. Something Excuse that El Goblino me, where is the bathroom? Do. Second it door on the right. To call out door 60. Quote, boy, stay far away from door 60, dude. Freaky stuff. Those of you who've played through the new update will know that room 60 is the newest and arguably biggest feature of the Hotel Plus update. In room 60, you can make your way to a skeleton door that requires a special key as well as two additional lock picks. But get it open What's behind and this it? is something quite different. Wait, is, is that is that a new entity? <laughs> we call that one subscribe. Quick, use your crucifix on it to survive the attack. No, well, that's pretty intelligent. I haven't used the crucifix yet. Is is it gone? Oh, good job, guys. I wonder what it and does. Don't worry about the does cross. It just burn it the entities be from here on out anyway. Because we're not dealing with doors anymore. We're dealing with rooms. Rooms. <laughs> Yeah, the naming conventions for these Roblox games aren't super exciting. Behind the secret skeleton door are a series of numbered rooms with an A in front. These are actually a recreation of another Roblox game, the one that actually inspired the creation of doors in the first place, Rooms, created by Nico oh. Rocks 5555. In this new area, you travel through what appears to be an office building with lockers, desks, and corporate mandated succulents. And unlike doors, where you just stop at door 100, instead your goal here is to reach room 1000. Eh, wow. That should be no problem, right? You just run a bit longer. Longer? Wrong. You see, there are three brand new entities that you have to deal with in these rooms, and you'll be doing it with zero help. The candle and crucifix are no zero longer working, and even our spiritual buddy guiding light isn't here. Instead, when we die, we're given another kind of death Wait. screen, a yellow screen with a So the blue stuff was actually helping you the whole time in the game? Curious light. And curious light is less than helpful. I'm not too sure on what I should call it. Well, it usually attacks around room A60, so you could just call it A60 or A120 again? This shouldn't be hard to figure out either. Look, I just spent an hour trying to get here. The last thing I need is your sass. Anyway, if you do get to the end and finally <laughs> reach room A1000, despite the unhelpful voice, you end up in a weird void full of doors floating through space. You can then cross the bridge to enter the final door and return to... Doors. The game. Basically right where you left off. Wow. What this tells me is that even though doors and rooms are connected via these secret doors, they don't strictly exist within the same reality. I suspect that those doors that we see floating around a whole other, other game into a game. I've never seen that in Roblox. All this thanks to one character, Bob. It would seem that maybe Bob. our silent skeleton friend in door 52 might be hiding a bit more than we expect. You see, if you decide to take your time while in rooms and look around, you can find a few desks that have name tags on them. Some are Dabs references to thump. animators of doors, some to other Roblox creators, but one of them stands out thanks to its pure simplicity, Bob. Could this possibly be the same Bob that winds up as a skeleton in the hotel? I suspect yes. You see, on one of the desks in rooms, you can find this, a purple key card that you can't pick up or interact with with. Making it even more suspicious is the fact that nowhere in this game do you need to use a key card. I mean, this immediately set off my theorist senses. This key card does, however, make an appearance somewhere else, in another Roblox game created by Nico Rocks 5555 A horror game called, get this, Bob Forest? is Missing, oh, where you okay. work through a series of creepy scenes in order to rescue Bob your friend, is missing. Bob. If you manage to rescue him and get the game's good ending, you and Bob exit through a bright white tunnel, one very reminiscent of the glowing white doors that we see in Room 8 
1000's void. This, mm. I think, has given us Bob's complete story. He's the common thread here. He's dimension hopping throughout these various connected worlds. He disappears and Bob is missing. He gets rescued and he winds up leaving through a portal that spits him out in rooms. He brings along his purple key card, which is how it winds up on one of the desks. Now stuck in rooms with nowhere to go, he gets a job and works in the office for a bit. Eventually, he's forced to Bob's leave when the work. entities start showing up. Forced to escape through one of the many exit doors that spawn after A200, he winds up in the Doors Hotel, lost in its ever-changing hallway. What a Eventually, crappy way to end your Lino, life. Like any good duende, he got stuck in the back rooms like four Jared times. Constantly getting lost and having to run away from monsters, Bob decides to stay in the safe room until his death, eventually decomposing into a silent pile of bones. Now, Jeez. all of that might seem like a stretch. Poor Bob. Bob is a very common name after all. If that that's said, the case. If you once again speak to Bob's friend El Goblino, he'll tell you this. Bob told me he saw one of those sparkly thingies, but it wasn't blue. Sparkles that it's aren't blue. It's not stuttering blue, enough. I would be excuse like? It's the entity that talks to us through the death screens and rooms. The yellow sparkle, curious light. Bob has to have been to the rooms. It is the only way that he could have met a differently colored sparkle. And while I was initially oh, happy to end the episode there, having explained this dynamic <sighs> duo of entities, one thing was still bugging me. Curious light itself. What's its purpose? Guiding light is obvious by comparison. It wanted to help us. It wants to defeat the demons that reside in the hotel. But curious light doesn't seem to care about us at all. In fact, it outright says, I usually place. don't give out hints. Even though it clearly knows the mechanics that are killing us. So why would this entity be so unhelpful? This is especially confusing when you consider that it wants us to keep coming back, to keep going, saying things like, I hope you don't mind trying again. It would be helpful. And hurry back. We're not helpful. done yet. Why would he speak to us in such a careless tone, but then push us to keep trying? What are we not done doing? Just didn't seem to make sense until I remembered what was at the end. If we succeed, we enter the void with dozens of other doors, new worlds, and more importantly, a door back to our world full of demons and evil entities. I think Curious Light needs us to get to the end in order for it to access that room and all the other dimensions that it holds, including our own. Why? Well, we established mm. last time that Guiding Light was an angel of some kind. Helping Angel. out the player to defeat the demons that roam the hallways. So it would make sense then for Curious Light to also be an angelic figure. But these angels are clearly limited in what they can do. They can light the way, but they can't physically interact or interfere with the world. That's why Curious Light needs someone else to help it get to that exit. And in so doing, give it the freedom to go somewhere else. So that's what we explicitly mm. know about it. But I suspect we might be able to take this one step further. This game and has shown itself being... to have plenty of religious imagery. One does not simply add a crucifix, demons, angels, homunculi, and un unbaptized oh, so gets to the game when without you use the crucifix? Sort of religious undertone. Which then prompts the question, have there ever been curious angels anywhere in the Bible? Yes. In fact, the last time an angel got a bit antsy, it didn't end too well for humans. According to the Bible, there was one angel that shone brighter than all the others, one that got bored of their current post and eventually challenged God. Their name oh, wow. was Lucifer, also known as the Morning Star. Could Curious Light actually be Satan in disguise? Could it be that by getting to room A1000, we've managed to release him into other dimensions? Dimensions, maybe. Let's just say I wouldn't be surprised. Using the see devil in other like dimensions is crazy. Of updates of doors, and when he does show up, I ain't gonna trust him. But hey, would have been way easier to take on Seek and led to much less PTSD if I'd just been smart and saved up my gold coins to buy that stupid crucifix in Jeff's shop. Fortunately, thanks to today's sponsor, so yeah, I knew that was coming. All right, I think that's the end of the video. Uh, <laughs> if you guys want to see um, doors. Or like more game theory on doors or Roblox doors itself. Make sure you guys hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe for more to come kiss you today. Pretty interesting theory. Let me know what you guys think about.